Airline pilots work for airline companies which help transport people and cargo. In this video, we're gonna go over what airline pilots do, the job market for airline pilots, the current pilot shortage going on right now, and at the end of the video, we will go over how much airline pilots earn. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on bringing you the latest, most up-to-date information on different careers. Subscribe to this channel for weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button to support this channel. Airline pilots work for airlines that transport passengers and cargo on a fixed schedule. Some of these airlines include Delta, Southwest, and United Airlines. The captain or pilot in command, usually the most experienced pilot, supervises all the other crew members and has primary responsibility for the flight. The co-pilot, often called the first officer or second in command, shares flight duties with the captain. Some older planes actually require a third pilot known as a flight engineer who monitors instruments and operates controls. Technology has actually automated many of these tasks and new aircraft do not actually require the use of flight engineers. Next, let's take a look at the job market for airline pilots. In the year 2000, there were 94,820 airline pilot jobs. From the year 2000 to 2012, airline pilots lost 28,550 jobs. After 2012, job growth picked up. From 2012 to 2018, airline pilots gained 16,620 jobs. Net, there was actually a loss of 5,150 airline pilot jobs over the past 20 years. So these stats make it look like becoming an airline pilot isn't such a great idea. In just a moment, I'm actually going to go over exactly why becoming an airline pilot is a great idea. But first, let's take a look at the government forecast for airline pilot jobs. The government is estimating a 6% growth in the number of jobs for airline pilots from 2018 to 2028. This is a little above the average across all occupations, which is about 5%. So there will be above average job growth for airline pilots going into the future. But an even bigger thing to consider for people interested in this is this massive pilot shortage that's going on right now. From what I can tell, there are six key reasons the pilot shortage exists and why it will continue to persist into the future. Reason number one is that there will be many pilots retiring over the next 10 years. According to the FAA, by law, airline pilots must retire by the age of 65, and around 22,000 airline pilots will retire over the next 10 years, making room for new pilots. Reason number two is new regulations mean it is harder to actually become an airline pilot. New airline pilots are required to now have 1,500 hours of flight time before they can become licensed to fly for an airline. This means it is harder to go from becoming a commercial pilot to becoming an airline pilot. Reason number three is less people in academia are interested in becoming pilots. In 2016, only around 2,000 completed an academic program towards becoming a commercial or an airline pilot. Young people these days just aren't as interested in becoming a pilot as they were in the past. So less and less people are interested in becoming a pilot. Reason number four is the military is actually training less pilots. In the 1980s, roughly two-thirds of airline pilots were ex-military. Now it is less than 30% and the rise of drones and unmanned aircraft mean that there is less of a need to train new pilots in the military. The continued use of drones and unmanned aircraft in the military means that less pilots are at risk of losing their lives. And this is a direction the military is definitely interested in going. Reason number five is it is expensive to become a pilot. According to atpflightschool.com, it costs about $80,995 to become a pilot with zero experience going into it. But many people will spend more than $100,000 on their pilot training. And finally, reason number six is there will be more people interested in taking air travel. According to the International Air Transport Association, in 2016, there were 3.8 billion air travelers. By 2035, the forecast is that this will increase to 7.2 billion passengers. Many new pilots will be needed to serve the rising middle classes of China, India, Russia, and Brazil. Those are six reasons why a pilot shortage exists and why it will continue to persist into the future. Next, let's take a look at what kind of money airline pilots earn. In 2007, the average airline pilot was making $113,940 per year. 
By the year 2018, the average wage had risen to $169,560. So wages rose for airline pilots by $55,620 over a period of only 11 years. Are you interested in becoming an airline pilot? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the pilot shortage going on? Do you think it will persist into the future? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.